So here it is, the character building series 3. I'm going to do a review on each figure. So first off, I'm going to go straight to the Doctor. So here it is, the 11th Doctor in a green coat from sort of series 6. Uh, and it's from the series 3 of character building. So what we've got is the same sort of 11th Doctor figurehead. So that's not been changed. The sonic screwdriver has been left the same. But what is very well done is his new sculpt of his costume, which is the green coat. It's basically the same thing they did for the uh, third Doctor and a couple of the other Doctors in the 11 Doctors box set. It's a standard torso, whatever the paint is, and then they've just added this extra trim to give it that coat sort of effect. And it really gives it, it really does look brilliant. The articulation on this figure is the standard sort of 360 at the arm, 360 at the wrist, 360 head, and not that much in the waist because of the coat, and then the legs do sort of straight up movement because the coat's in the way for them to go backwards. So this figure is a very good uh, thought for the wave. I'm sure a lot of people were hoping for this figure to uh, come out. And I think it's a great idea that they did bring it out in this newest wave. Next up, it's Amy Pond from Day of the Moon. Uh, this figure, what you've basically got is a brand new sculpt, basically for everything, apart from the head. Uh, the head is the basic Amy Pond sculpt, except this time they've just added some tally marks for the silent sort of effect. Uh, then you, for the body, you've got Amy Pond's suit. Now, I was expecting him to just do something really rubbish and just give us a silent suit with a pink, but no, it's it's been sculpted to suit Amy Pond. Uh, definitely, like, it suits a female character figure. As I had a custom figure made for the Amy Pond uh, thing, so there it is. And as you can see, it looks a lot better uh, how they've released it, because mine just looks like a dude. It's been sculpted for Amy Pond, and the height is the right height, whereas this is a silent figure with an Amy Pond head on it. So I'm glad they actually properly re-sculpted and made a body for the Amy Pond figure. So what it basically is is a suit and just black pants, and uh, that's basically the Amy Pond figure. Same articulation as most figures, and probably the most articulation seen on an Amy Pond figure, as these legs aren't confined uh, by a skirt. And here's Rory from uh, The Wedding of River Song. So what we've got is a sculpt of Rory's head, which has an eye patch on it this time, which is a very good idea. Um, and obviously because it's an eye patch, you've got a body. Now I've not bought any of the other character building figures, which are like the armed forces and stuff. But I am assuming that this is basically an armed forces body. Uh, so you basically got that with a black back on the back. And for the first time in a Doctor Who figure, uh, in the character building range at least, there's a gun. Now I'm assuming this gun is from the HM Force wave of character building figures, because I very much doubt they would make a gun specifically for Doctor Who. So it's a great figure, I'm very glad they did, because there's a lot of seam recreations you can do because of this figure. Now, uh, because you've got the Amy Pond in a suit, and if you change the head with a normal Amy Pond, uh, Without tally marks, you've basically got Amy Pond from The Wedding of River Song. Speaking of River Song, here she is. Uh, this is River Song in another new costume. A uh, previous one was from Series 5, The Pandorica Opens. This one, however, is from quite a few episodes in Series 6. So, for example, Day of the Moon, which I think is the one they're going for in this one because it comes with the River Song's gun, which really doesn't look that much like her gun. I mean, it's just a silver repaint of the gun that Rory has in this wave. But, I mean, it's good enough, because I very much doubt they could put very detailedness on such a small item. The head is basically the same head as uh, a normal River Song figure. Then we've got a body, uh, which is being painted very nicely. The green goes all around the back, and then you've got a skirt, very similar to any Amy Pom one, and then boots. So River Song is a great addition, and a very thoughtful thing for the wave. Here we have a cyber controller, which is the letdown of the wave. Um, because basically everything in this wave is clever um, and unique. Uh, as you can see, all the figures are really good until you get to the cyber controller and you go, but why? This Cyberman, there's really only ever one of them in control of the entire fleet sort of, of stuff. So the fact that this is a common figure in the box is a bit annoying because 
you're gonna get heaps of these. So basically what you've got is a normal Cyberman one. Uh, it's one of the non-Cyber uh, Cybermen, as it's got, it hasn't got the C on the chest. Got a brain painted on there, and then we've just basically got a normal Cyberman body from there down, just got black and grey eyes. It is a great figure um, if you don't have it already, because uh, you could have a massive army being commanded by this guy. And here's the handbot from Series 6 episode, The Girl Who Waited. And so what you've basically got, this is a completely new figure, nothing on this figure has been reused. Uh, it's a great figure, you've got a plain white head and this little plate, but it does add that textured got the two buttons on its chest. Instead of having two normal hands, it's got a hand and it raises and it does that just like in the episode where it's about to fire the serum or whatever it fires. Uh, the articulation in this figure is, you know, slightly determined on if you have this neck brace on. So it can't go full 360 there. But everything else is basically the same as any other figure. And there you have it, the uh, Girl Who Waited's Handbot. Another great addition to your character building shelf or of stuff. Next you have a gold Dalek from the David Tennant era and most recently seen in the Matt Smith era in Asylum of the Dalek. Now the only way to really review this figure is to compare it against the series 5, 6, whatever, Matt Smith era Daleks. So upon looking on this you might think, oh it's just a repaint of gold, but no, they've actually managed to scale it in with the other figures to make it uh, really well made. As you can see, the whole entire sculpt of the figure is redone uh, to suit the 2005 Daleks. Mainly, what we've got is a very small midsection, which would probably be the height difference, because as you can see, there's a big thick section there. The Dalek eggs on the side of the Dalek are a lot smaller, and it's it's very well made. I can't really show you the detail of it, it's really good. And because they are common figures this time, it means you're easily going to get heaps of them. And you can easily make a big army of them and make, you know, scene recreations of Asylum of the Dalek. And this figure is the Jadoon. But here it is, once again, this one comes with a weapon. Uh, I'm liking the fact that they're releasing some smaller objects in it, but that's going to mean that I'm probably going to lose a lot of them. Uh, it's sad that because they're Lego figures, this section has to be so thick. The whole weapon, which doesn't really show up great on camera, but it's very well detailed. It can actually fit in the character building's hand. Whoa, see, that's what I mean. That's gone now. So this is the sculpt. First off, you got this. Uh, which is sort of looks like a bodybuilder and it's been very detailed because you can see the little Jadoon light thingo torch marker pen and once then you put this on and this is seems to be a very recurring idea as it's on the handbot it's on this and it's also on the Sontaran trooper which is in this wave as well so the figure is very well done uh, once again the articulation in the arms is limited by the fact this is on there but uh, the waist movement's the same, and so is the legs. So once again, another great figure to include in the wave. I'm very glad they brought out another sort of army building figure that they can do. And hopefully the next step with the Jadoons will be their massive craft spaceship thing. Next up, you've got the Madame Kovarian figure, which has been amazingly detailed. I mean, the face, I just love the character building figure line, because as you can see, the hair has been sculpted to sort of start there and wrap down and it's amazingly made it's just the eye is amazing uh they've got a very well sculpted it looks just like the actress um she's got an eye patch on her eye and uh the only letdown of this i'm pretty sure is the fact they've used the same color scheme as uh and also almost the same sculpt as amy pond's but not quite uh because as you can see madame kovarian it's just a little bit larger um, compared to Amy Pond's sculpt. So once again, it's great, and the fact that it's a rare figure means if you do buy a whole box of these, or even if you don't, you should only ever get one of these, because, I mean, there's only two in each box. So definitely a hard one to find if you're not buying a complete box, but a great figure nonetheless. Oh, yeah, it's a nude. It's a, it's a yeah. His eyes are, in fact, red eyes. Um, I didn't notice that before, but they are. So what you basically got is a just separate head sculpt. This is once again a brand new paint job on the body. Uh, and the, the frongs come down completely off the head. So it's amazing. I just love the detail on these figures because every head sculpt is different. It's got a nice white wire which when you put the head on 
it makes it look like it's coming from the frongs. Uh, it's got pockets, it's got buttons, uh, it's got sort of grey trousers. It looks like one of those mint mints you can buy, which, you know, it's a bit sad, but it looks great in the figure's hand, because if you have it in a certain way, if you just have it about there, boom, it looks like it's connected. The only problem is as soon as you pick it up, it, it just looks like he's holding a snowball or a, or a white microphone and he's about to do karaoke. <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, it's a great figure. Every figure always has their letdowns and this one sort of is the translation or because it does look like he's holding a white microphone. But this figure is a in-between sort of medium, not rare, not common, so uh, you will probably be able to pick up quite a few of these ones. Um, just feel for the sort of either the ball or the frongs of its mouth. Great figure. This one is probably my favourite figure of the wave because it's been amazingly detailed. Uh, not only has it been detailed in its actual figure respect, the fact that they're gun. But this one's an alien Sontaran gun. It's got all the indents in the side of it. The figure as well has been amazingly detailed. Unfortunately, Removing the head doesn't show a Sontaran's head. Another section which is similar to the Handbot and the Jadoon, but completely re-sculpted. We go over the top, which makes it gives out that nice indented feel of a Sontaran's armour. Its head's been amazingly sculpted, and the eyes aren't just painted black, they're actually indented into it. And then you've got a nice little uh, beveled effect on the helmet. And this figure, unfortunately, isn't common, so you won't be able to get too many of them. But it isn't rare, so you will be able to get, it's about three in each box. Um, so you will be able to get quite a few of these. And, I mean, you could easily build an army. I'm sure in the near future they will release packs like they do uh, for you to be able to build armies, which come with, like, five figures. But it's a great figure to add to uh, anyone's collection. And finally, another figure from David Tennant's uh, era of Doctor Who, it's the Bastion Arada. This figure could have been brilliant, and it is. I mean, it really is. It's a great figure. And they've managed to put that much detail into such a small figure. So you've got the nice Bastion Arada head inside there. Someone's already been consumed, obviously. Another sort of handbot, Jadoon, you know, Sontaran idea there with a removable section. And then you've just got these lines, which aren't bad really but just by putting this small piece on suddenly it sort of it just sort of comes to life and it works seeing this makes me think all right there must be an astronaut on the way because the boots are pretty much an astronaut and then you've got the helmet i mean there must be thoughts next next wave please give us some series 7 figures and an astronaut and another great figure from the Series 3 wave of character building. So that's my thoughts on the new figures from the Series 3 of character building. I hope you enjoyed that review, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.